After nearly a year with few exclusives on the PlayStation platform, we finally have the highly anticipated release of Marvel's Spider-Man 2, which is also exclusive to the current generation of consoles, in this case, the PS5. I must admit I wasn't particularly excited about the game's arrival. I'm relatively new to the platform, my last Sony console was the PS2. I returned because of the channel, but I can say with certainty that at least from a technical perspective, which is the only aspect I'm analyzing in this video, the game is excellent. All the graphical features, as is common in all recent titles released by the developer, even before it was acquired by Sony, exhibit very high fidelity. In this case, the geometry, textures, shadows, animations, and especially the reflections, which use ray tracing, are magnificently implemented regardless of the chosen mode. The differences between modes primarily lie in determining which objects receive this feature rather than the quality of implementation. Speaking of reflections, I confess I'm a ray tracing enthusiast, especially in this aspect. Regardless of how great the game is, the lack of this feature on consoles disappoints me, not always, but generally. Screen space reflections are often poorly utilized and more bothersome than beneficial. In this case, I have nothing to complain about. Almost all relevant surfaces, regardless of the chosen mode, have this feature very well implemented, and in fidelity mode, it's implemented magnificently. With a quality and quantity rarely seen on current consoles. Regarding other features that could benefit from ray tracing, such as shadows and global illumination, they appear to use more traditional techniques, such as PCSS for shadows. However, these are executed very well, with a high level of fidelity, even in performance mode. I must admit that in these aspects, I don't always insist on the implementation of the ray tracing feature. We also shouldn't forget the textures, which exhibit excellent quality, and I couldn't identify any significant differences between the two modes. In terms of resolutions in the different modes, we have, in my opinion, 4K in Fidelity mode and 1440p in Performance mode, possibly with FSR 2 implemented. Apart from these key modes, each one can have VRR activated in a smoothed or uncapped mode. The difference, in my view, is that in the first, FSR 2 is set to quality, while in the second, it's balanced. However, I didn't notice a significant difference when choosing the quality mode. Now, when it comes to performance, another element I considered is the VRR modes. Apart from frame rate and resolution, the rest of the differences were negligible or non-existent, falling into almost the same category. While differences do exist, they are almost within the margin of error. The only significant benefit is activating VRR in quality mode, where the FPS jumps from 30 to 40. Changing from smooth to uncapped doesn't add even 4 FPS. In performance mode, the differences are even more negligible, and altering these options hardly changes anything. In conclusion, Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is one of the most technically advanced games of this generation. While there are other titles that match its technical prowess, it offers excellent performance and graphical fidelity in all available modes. In my opinion, it boasts the best implementation of ray tracing for reflections in a 60fps mode. Thank you very much.